I have to greet you first in your language. Nana mi pacho mi cheo. Former Ghanaian President John Kufour. When Kenya was burning, quite literally so, following the chaotic December 2007 election, Kufour was the then chairman of the African Union. Speaking to Citizen TV at his residence in Accra City, Kufour said he felt so touched by the loss of lives and property amid accusations and counter-accusations between President Mwai Kibaki's side and Raila's side, Orange Democratic Movement Party. I felt a pressure to go uh, to try to talk peace, to get them to dialogue for solution, rather than sit by and allow the country to burn. Kufour says his first attempt to visit Kenya was resisted by some government officials who made derogatory remarks about him. I remember some minister, young, youngish minister, <laughs> was coming out through the media to say uh, that Kufour was not needed there and that even if I go there, it would be just to come for tea at the state house. <laughs> <laughs> But quickly, Mr. Kibaki dispatched his then foreign minister to come here to invite me formally to go. So with that assurance, Kufour says he flew to Nairobi to extend that helping hand. Then began his shuttle diplomacy at a time when ODM was demanding a repeat of the election while Kibaki's side opposed the demand, saying it was practically not possible. So for the next two days or three days, around the clock, I would say, I moved between the State House and the Intercontinental Hotel. Um, at points, it seemed the two sides were agreeing to come together. For instance, at a point, um, it had been suggested that uh, the opposition, Mr. Ryla and Co., should move to the State House. And they said flatly, no, they won't go. Uh, I conveyed the resistance to Mr. Kibaki, who agreed then to meet them at the Harambe House, yes. yes. The former Ghanaian leader says at that time he sensed that both sides were troubled with the violence and they wanted a way out. Then it hit me that um, I should propose to the two sides to agree to talk uh, on a neutral ground, uh, using dialogue and uh, bringing up uh, whatever their disagreements were, the, the issues on which they disagreed. And uh, then my uh, compatriot Kofi Annan's name hit me. He, was in, he had retired from UN in Switzerland. And then uh, I also looked around and uh, names like uh, President Kappa of Tanzania and uh, Raka Mashe, three. He then moved first to convince both sides to accept the team. So with that, with the agreement to work under this panel, um, I quickly picked the phone and talked with Kofi Annan, who was in Switzerland. Uh, he wasn't well then, but I entreated him that it, the situation was too crucial that uh, he had to accept uh, to get everybody assured that uh, there would be dialogue on more or less level footing uh, during which uh, they could discuss constitutional issues, uh, electoral issues, uh, land holding issues, all the troubles that uh, were the real causes for the explosion of violence. And Kofi Annan's team was a big boost to the search for peace in Kenya, a process that eventually led to the end of hostilities and sharing of power between President Mwai Kibaki and Odinga in the Grand Coalition government. Tanzania's president, Jakaya Kikwete, at that time had taken over the AU chairmanship from Kufour. Kikwete also played an active role in Kenya's peace talks. Alex Chamwada, Citizen Live at Nine.